Yeah, okay. This is for um, Kelly, who asked about wrapping brownies. So I set up a machine here, just the standard thing. I, mean, I am using the biodegradable film, but that's because we're going to wrap these and eat these. So thank you, Kelly. So what I'm doing is I'm sliding them in right up against the edge. I don't have to leave room on the side where an edge exists. So these brownies, I can put right up to the edge of the film. We've been eating, every time I unwrap them, I've been breaking off the piece and we've been eating it so we can't wait to get at these. Okay, so here I'm positioning them so I'll have room to do all four in a single sleeve. Now, once we're comfortable wrapping these, we would just then do three more rows limited by the width of the wand. So you'll probably get four rows easily, maybe five columns, but it, it matters little to your production. I'm going to back off. I'm not going right up against the edge. So I'll just leave a little bit of room here in between. I hold the wand so that the light is between my thumb and forefinger, but my palm, more importantly, is in the middle because you lean, lean on it, give it a little, a nice shot of heat, and don't let up. Push down. While you're pushing down, I want to get this side of the metal housing off the surface of the film. See, this is the left edge of the ceiling wand. And right now it's pushing on the piece of film that I want to pull away. So I'm just going to tilt this over a touch, but I'm still pushing down. That's the key thing. I'm keeping the hot wire on the film as I'm going to separate this, um, this strip of uh, brownies from the roll in order to keep the seal complete. Now, once I've pushed down and then I'm tilting, I'm just going to pull this away at an angle and then probably down a little bit just so it's completely separate. All right, but I've got a perfect seal here. So if we were doing another row of brownies, again, push, tilt, pull. Now, this wrinkle because there's nothing in there to weigh it down, but it's the same thing. Now, don't grab the film in the middle and pull away 18 inches at once. It's just making it harder. Start at either corner, top or bottom, whichever you prefer, and pull away at an angle, like a banana peel. And the film should melt. So again, it's push, tilt, pull. And that's, that's that. Now, to finish these up, your problem was they were popping. So we don't have to turn these sideways, but I want you to see. So then I'll, I'll go right up to the edge here, give myself a little room, push, tilt, and pull. Now I'll scooch this up because I don't need room here. Give myself a little room, enough so that I, the two layers of film are touching. Push, tilt, pull. There's the second. Again, we'll scooch this up. Now, if I had four rows, I wouldn't be holding this sideways. I would just turn the cutter bar this way and cut across all four columns at once. But you didn't send me 16 brownies. I would have shown you that gladly. Um, I'll take my heat gun. I want to keep the seams on the side of the brownie, so uh, I'm going to start on the sides. Now that will also strengthen your package. Now as you're, you notice that I keep it moving and I keep the heat gun moving, so now the seams are all on the sides, so now I'm going to do the bottom of the brownie, like this, just back and forth, and then I'll do the top, and this one is sealed really tight so there's no holes, so that it's trapped a little air. So I'm just going to pur purposely pop a little tiny hole in there with the heat gun. And here is my brownie, very nicely shrunk, and all the seals are intact. Now we'll do the same here. We'll take two here at a time. Do these two. Oop. Well, there's a the little hole I need for the air to escape. And then I just shrink it down. And again, this has air in it, so just pop the air out and then shrink it down. And there's your brownie. And here's this one. As long as you keep the heat gun moving, this is heat sensitive film, but as long as you keep the heat gun moving, you really won't pop a lot of holes in here. Now look, these are little chocolate chips on the top here, exposed. There's a lot of them. They haven't melted, nor would I expect them to do so. The film is absorbing the heat, and that's how it shrinks. If you get a little corner, come up, come up to me. If you get a little corner like that that's popping up, if you pat it with the heat gun and just touch it, it'll... Here, let's go here. See like that little corner? Just a touch with the heat gun and pat it down, and then that corner will flatten out. So if you ever get... We call them dog ears. If you ever get dog ears, then just... I just popped the hole in there. 
if you ever get dog ears, just pat them down while the film is warm. But that's basically it. I mean, they wrapped, they wrapped nicely. So if the film isn't holding a seal, an issue could be that if a roll of film has been subject to heat, it often won't hold a seal. So I don't know if that's the case here, or, or possibly it was a technique thing. But you see what I'm doing here, and if you duplicate it, you should have good results. Just be careful with the heat gun. I was trying to work quickly to show off, but under normal circumstances, and you'll be doing a lot more brownies than I do. And thanks for the brownies. Have a nice holiday. Bye. No cuts. How do I turn off?